Hi, I'm Tommy with BuyTwayRadios.com, and this is Radio 101. The FRS and GMRS are two different radio services that coexist within the 462 to 467 MHz frequency range of the UHF band. Both services share the same 22 simplex channels and frequencies. These channel and frequency assignments are standard across the industry. For this reason, someone with an FRS radio can communicate directly with someone who has a GMRS radio, and vice versa. So what's the difference between FRS and GMRS radios? There are five primary differences. FRS radios are limited to portable handheld models only. In addition, mobile and base station GMRS units are not allowed to transmit on channels 8 through 14, period, and can only receive on those channels. The maximum allowable wattage of an FRS radio on channels 1 through 7 and 15 through 22 is 2 watts while the GMRS is allowed up to 5 watts on channels 1 through 7 and up to 50 watts on channels 15 through 22. FRS radios must have a permanently fixed antenna, which means you must not be able to remove it. GMRS radios are allowed to have removable antennas and they can be attached to external antennas mounted on a vehicle, building, or tower, as long as it is within a certain height limit. FRS radios do not have repeater channels and are not allowed to transmit on repeater systems. The GMRS has 8 additional repeater channels available to it, for a total of 30 channels. GMRS radios are allowed to access repeater systems. FRS radios are licensed by rule, also known as license-free, which means that the simple act of buying an FRS radio gives you the license to legally use it. In contrast, a license is required to operate a GMRS radio. It's not difficult to obtain, and the terms are rather generous, but it isn't free. If you have any questions or want to know more about FRS or GMRS radios, please don't hesitate to give us a call, email, or hit us up in our online chat at buy2wayradios.com. I'm Tommy with buy2wayradios.com, and this is Radio 101. Class dismissed.